Hello, my name is Pamela Powers Hanley and I'm the social media editor for the American Journal of Medicine. I'm here today with Dr. Joseph Albert, our editor-in-chief, and we're going to talk about a new article in this month's issue. The article is on non-obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Dr. Albert, could you tell us the main points of this article? Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is an inherited congenital form of heart disease in which uh, the left ventricle in particular gets very, very much thickened. That's what hypertrophic means. It means markedly thickened. Um, this disease was actually um, brought to the attention of physicians in the 1960s by Eugene Brownwald when he was at the NIH and has subsequently a lot of material has been published by Barry Marin at, at, in Minneapolis. Uh, these are the two authors on this current paper in which they point out a subset of patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, most of whom do very well. They live a full long life, they don't have any problems, um, they don't have any obstruction within the left ventricle, which is a common feature of the standard hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, uh, and the ones who have obstruction often have to go on for cardiac surgery and so forth uh, to relieve symptoms and, and to uh, prolong their lives. But this form doesn't have the obstruction. About 10% of the patients eventually develop heart failure, but 90% do perfectly well. And that's what community studies have shown, that many patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, it is a fairly benign condition. In certain families, it's very dangerous and can even be associated with sudden death. But evidently, the group that has the non-obstructive form almost always, at least 9 out of 10 times, does very well. Dr. Albert, thanks for the explanation. Could you tell us what the take-home points for physicians are? So what is the take-home message for physicians? First of all, it turns out that the majority of patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy do extremely well. Many of them don't need any therapy at all or just watchful waiting. Um, and uh, of course, the people with obstruction require more attention, but the people who aren't obstructed just need to be followed, watching for signs and symptoms of heart failure, but know that most of them will have a benign course. And I even um, have known individual patients who lived beyond age 100 who had the non-obstructive form of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Uh, of course, uh, they have abnormal cardi electrocardiograms and abnormal echoes, so it's important to recognize the syndrome so that you don't overreact. Thanks very much for being with us today at the American Journal of Medicine. We hope you'll continue to follow us on our blog and our website, our Twitter and our Facebook account. There's a lot of interesting information there and we hope you'll uh, stay with us. Thanks for being with us today.